Hello students, how are you today? So now let's have our formative test number four. Are you ready? Alright, so it seems that you're ready. Let's start. Let's have the first question. What skill does a scientist show when he or she listens to the sounds that whales make? A. Making a hypothesis. B. Making observations. C. Interpreting data. C. Drawing conclusions. By the way, you just have to write only the letter of the correct answer. Alright, let's proceed to the next number. So let's just enter this after this amazing Alright. Number two, which question would be the best high level scientific question? A how many there are how are you going to do that? How many giraffes live in Africa? B. Who made the first microscope? C. How long ago the dinosaurs lived on Earth? D. Does the amount of salt in water affect the temperature at which it boils? Third question. What do you call the series of steps designed to help you solve problems and answer questions? A. Experiment B. Hypothesis C. Observation C. Scientific Method Question number 4 In science, an educated guess is called A. and Z. A. Conclusion B. Hypothesis C. Observation D. Question When you decide whether the data supports the original hypothesis, you are blank. A. Asking questions. B. Drawing conclusions. C. Making observations. B. Forming a hypothesis. Next question. When a scientist shares her findings with other scientists, she is blank. A. Experimenting. B. Analyzing data, C. Making hypothesis, B. Communicating results. Number 7. The final part for a summary of reasonable inferences is A is an blank. A. Conclusion, B. Hypothesis, C. Question, D. Controlled experiment. Number 8. Anything that can change in an experiment is called blank. A. Experiment B. Conclusion B. Hypothesis B. Variable Second to the last question. All good experiments should be A. Explainable B. Questionable C. Testable C. Thoughtful Last question. Which of the following does not belong to the group? A. Conclusion B. Experiment C. Hypothesis B. Plagiarism Alright, now let's check your work. Starting with the first question. What skill does a scientist show when he or she listens to the sounds that whales make? Alright, the correct answer is letter B. Making observations. Alright, number two. Which question would be the best high-level scientific question? Alright, letter D. That's the, does the amount of salt in water affect the temperature at which it boils? Third question. What do you call the series of steps designed to help you solve problems and answer questions? Very good! Letter D. Scientific method. Number four in science, an educated guess is called a hypothesis. Yes, a very good letter B. Number five, when you decide whether the data supports the original hypothesis, you are blank. Correct, drawing conclusions. Letter B. Next, number six, when a scientist shares her findings with other scientists, she is blank. 
Very good! Communicating results, letter D. Number 7. The final part or a summary of reasonable inferences is... Correct! Conclusion, letter A. Number 8. Anything that can change in an experiment is called... Yes! Letter D. Variables. Number 9. Oh, good experiment should be... What's your answer? What's your answer? Alright, letter C. Testable. Last question. Which of the following does not belong to the group? What's your answer? Okay, letter D. Plagiary. I hope you got all these questions correctly. Okay, for our next uh, formative test. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching and listening.